New at six, as the Wisconsin Supreme Court debates the voting eligibility of tens of thousands of voters, one man is questioning the accuracy of that list. The names on the list could potentially be purged following a lawsuit filed by conservative activists. As Sean Gallagher shares, some say this effort is purposefully targets, targeting communities of color. It's almost guaranteed the Wisconsin Supreme Court will not make a decision to purge some 130,000 voters before November's election. But one man claims the list they're using could improperly remove their ability to vote in future Wisconsin elections. It's so wrong, you really gotta junk it and start again. Greg Pallast is an investigative journalist. He examined the original list of 150,000 Wisconsin voters whose registrations are in question. Conservative activists allege people on the list moved and need to re-register where they live now. But Pallast claims, based on information from the U.S. Postal Service, close to 40,000 people on the list may have not moved and should remain eligible to vote. We have the post office itself, they went through every name, name by name. I mean, this is not a, like a sampling or something like that. They literally went through every single name and used um, 240 data feeds to find out exactly where people live. And that's why we were able to find out that just short of 40,000 people supposedly moved didn't. Greg argues some of these people moved within the same area so they would be voting in the same district. TMJ4 News was not able to independently verify these claims. But what Greg says is clear. The addresses in jeopardy of being purged almost mirror exactly Milwaukee's predominantly black and low income neighborhoods. It has kind of a frankly a kind of Jim Crow effect and it's just not fair. This suppression is real. That's very intentional. You know, this isn't checkers, it's chess. Everything is strategic. Pastor Greg Lewis runs Souls to the Polls, an effort to get people of color registered and out to vote. He believes this list is intentionally trying to make it harder for African Americans to vote. These communities are more likely to vote Democratic. They discourage people from voting. That is just blatant, blatant voter suppression, blatant disenfranchisement. But others disagree. It's important that um, certain safeguards be observed, including having the most accurate voter roll possible. Rick Essenberg with the conservative advocacy group Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty is pushing for the voters on this list to be thrown out. The problem is that our voter rolls are notoriously inaccurate. Essenberg admits the list isn't 100% accurate. There's a possibility of an error percentage between 3 and 5%, which is roughly six to 10,000 of those voters. They've made efforts to reach all of these voters by postcard. If they don't respond within 30 days, Essenberg says they should be deleted. I don't think it's voter suppression at all. State law requires that uh, the voter rolls um, be brought up to date by removing outdated records of voters who have moved. Regardless of the accuracy of the list, everyone should check their eligibility to vote at myvote.wi.gov. And if you are choosing to go to the polls in person on election day, be sure to bring a photo ID and proof of residence. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.